You are looking live at X Stadium here on the campus of Wichita State in beautiful Wichita, Kansas. It all comes down to this. What started in off-season workouts, what started in summer ball, what started in Little League, all concludes tonight in the Kansas 5A Baseball Championship game here in Wichita. I'm Chris Kamler, along with a cast of dozens here for tonight's championship game. To all coming down to a state title opportunity. This would be the fifth state title for St. Thomas Aquinas. Could be the third for Spring Hill. Both teams out of the Kansas City area. St. Thomas Aquinas. Meade batting 304 on the season. Uncommitted is a senior, the 3-1. Ground ball right up the middle, could be two. Sh uh, second base has it. Good one to Hewenfeld. They'll score a run, but a huge double play. A 1-2. Round ball up the middle, an RBI single for Kirkstrom. And now hit by pitch. That'll load the bases. And we mentioned that in the opener, or I'm sorry, the semifinal game earlier today, they gave up a couple of runs in the top frame and were able to come back and get a couple more in the bottom frame. Now Aquinas threatening with the bases full of Saints here in the bottom of the first. Right on top of the field, but you're also incredibly high. Ball four, and he's walked in a run. RBI base on balls. Two runs on three hits so far for the Broncos. One run on one hit so far for the Saints. The 0-1 pitch. Looped out into right field and deep. That'll be deep enough to score the run. The catch is made. Runners at second and third will advance. It'll be a sacrifice fly for Goodwin. And we, folks, have a tie ball game. Ground ball right side. Pass to diving Hewenfeld. That'll score a run. And the Broncos will go back up on top. Three to two. Off an RBI single by Holden Miller. I don't know. If you like Wichita, you might be seeing a lot of it in the next couple of years. That one is into the power alley in left center. Extra bases for Neal. That'll be a RBI. And the run scored before the play anyway, but a triple into the alley by Keaton Neal. Makes it a 4-2 ball game. What a shot by Neal. This has been a treat today. A 4-3 ball game, a tight one all day. Spring Hill scoring in the first and second innings, two runs apiece. Aquinas scoring in the second and or the first and the second. Two in the first, one in the second. Goose egg since, but it has been a high wire act for both clubs this whole way. Missed high, back-to-back -back walks. Somewhat important. Ground ball or fly line drive into right center field. That'll score at least run one. Around third. Heading in to score is O'Brien. And the Aquinas Saints. Take the lead. Look at them fly around the base pass as the triple, the two RBI triple by the 0 for 3 Brady, Brady Stewart gives the Saints the lead. Ball now back to the screen. It's going to be a 6-4 game. Popped up. Right side, right fielder is under it, Boyle. While we've got a moment, let's go ahead and award our Academy Sports and Outdoor Player of the Game to Brady Stewart, who had that two RBI triple to put his team ahead, six to four. And congratulations, Brady. One strike away from a state championship. Did he go? No, no first base umpire is going to give a state title on a half check swing. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. 
Ground ball left side. Lopez up with it again. Strong throw. Title clincher. The Saints. Pilot at midfield. They are the state titles in 5A. Defeating Spring Hill 6-4 in a comeback victory. Look at them go. Congratulations to Spring Hill. They played their absolute hearts out. But my goodness, what a dangerous team this Aquinas Saints team has been all weekend. Tonight, in the late innings, they've come back twice for victories in three games, and they are the 2024 state champions.